this card. Get a good wind up here. I heard an engine chime. What's up everybody? My name is Elliot and this is my new to me 1997 BMW 528i. Welcome back to the only Midwestern based automotive YouTube channel hosted by a notary public. And that's yet to be disproven, so I'm gonna keep operating under that assumption. Anyway, for those of you who saw the Hoobies Garage Christmas special, you'll know that I ruthlessly stole this BMW right out of the car ninja's hands. But in all reality, it was a secret Santa white elephant style gift exchange where stealing was not only allowed, but encouraged. And it would have been pretty boring if nobody had stolen anything. Plus, the Carnage has already had a ton of these cars, whereas I have never actually owned a BMW, which means this is my first BMW. And what a first BMW it is. Like I said, this is a 1997 528i, which means it's powered by an inline six cylinder making about 190 horsepower and 207 pound feet of buttery smooth torque mated to a five speed manual. And that manual is what really drew me to this car. All the other cars in the gift exchange were automatic American sedans or a van, whereas this was a German sports sedan with a manual. Now, with that came some stuff. Obviously, the paint is not in great condition and it has over 250,000 miles. So let's explore what came with this BMW and its condition together and then talk about what I'm going to do with it because I'm going to need your help on that. Let's find out if this BMW was a gift or a lump of coal. Now, as I'm walking around the car, I also wanted to show you the first set of modifications I'm doing to the car right away before we even drive it. This thing's getting modified. As a new BMW owner, I feel compelled to do a certain visual modification to almost everything that I see. Now, remember, this is a 528i, but no 528i is complete without an M badge. There we go. So like BMW does with all of its current cars, they put M on everything. Everything's an M sport, even if it's not. And as a BMW owner, I just need to put the M on every surface that I can possibly touch. It really classes up the car. One thing you'll notice about this car is it is actually not black. It is a dark, dark green. BMW actually calls it Oxford green. It doesn't show up initially, but at certain angles, you can see it's a really deep metallic green. It's very, very pretty. Although this particular car has seen better days. As you can see here, every single shopping cart and other car door has met this paint at some point in its lifetime. But I'm sure a lot of that can clean right up. But again, guys, this thing has 250,000 miles on it and it was free. Also, I'm increasing the value as we go here. So let's, let's keep looking around. Walking around, you see these beautiful period BBS style wheels. They're pretty small, but the other thing that it gives you is that this massive, massive sidewall, which means this car rides really, really nicely because you don't have all this sport suspension jarring you to death. You just have a lot of rubber and a lot of suspension. And as you saw in the Hoobie special, the suspension on this one's pretty loose. Coming around the driver's side, it's got some tape holding up the window, which is not something you like to see, but it's a common failure point on this. It's got a window regulator issue. At least the window is stuck up rather than how it was on my Maserati where it was stuck down. This is okay. I will be getting that fixed soon. Apparently it's a pretty easy job. More shopping carts, more door dings. Like I said, this thing's 23 years old. Every single shopping cart in the entire city has introduced itself to this BMW. So it's really not that bad considering. And before we get too far, I definitely need to even this out with another M badge. Oh yeah, look at that. Sporty, moving around to the trunk, more of the same scuffed paint. But what you can also see here is this thing is in desperate, desperate need of a badge. And I don't wanna seem like a poser, so I'm making it appropriate. So it's an M528i, it's not an M5, it's an M528i. I'm doing what BMW does. I'm inventing a new M Sport package, live, right now, you're witnessing it. But I also don't think having just M528i is enough on there for normal folks. What it also needs is on this side, an M performance badge, because everyone needs to know. M performance, M528i. Every 17 year old kid right now is absolutely stirring in their seat, getting excited about the prospect of a 528i with M badges on it. I just know it. But now let's take a peek under this hood. This is one of my favorite parts. I've never even had a German car before, so it's exciting to have the little hood release thing come out of the kidney grill. It's so exciting. Under here, you see a very, very dirty inline six, but that's okay because this thing is still running in great shape and it's smooth as the day is long. One thing that stood out to me as a guy who's never owned one of these before is dual massive cabin filters. Like the old guys say, six in a row makes or go. And now that this one's got an M badge, well, it's ready to go even faster. 
Climbing inside the BMW, you're greeted with a very complete and nice interior. I guess it's because I'm coming from the Kartrek Maserati where the interior was mostly missing that I'm impressed that the interior's here, but it's actually really, really nice and in good shape, especially considering the mileage and the ownership history of this car. Apparently, the guy who owned this car bought it at 50,000 miles, drove it for a while, and then gave it to one of his high school kids who drove it until they went to college, and then gave it to another high school kid who drove it until they went to college. So this BMW has been through two high school kids. Most high school kids tear the crap out of their cars. So the fact that this is in this nice of shape means that these kids were pretty conscientious owners. So let's take a look around and see some of the unique features that I think are cool considering I've never had a German car. Starting off with the steering wheel, you see you've got some multifunction buttons that actually work and that would have been really, really fancy back in 1997. You've got a stock that even moves the steering wheel forward and back. Of course that doesn't work, but who cares? This car was free. And you've got this shifter, which is in really, really nice shape. And I mean, it is just slick shifting, feels great. And you know, of course it's an M Sport shifter, but I'm just impressed with the state of this interior. There are some things that are wrong. I mean, these cup holders that are kind of retractable do not stick, but I guess that's normal. And it's a little hard to see, but these climate control buttons, the down one is missing on this one and the up arrow is kind of half gone on that one. The good news is this thing's set at a reasonable temperature so I can still hit auto and it works just fine. Another thing in this neighborhood is it's got heated seats. I mean, heated seats are something that's still considered a luxury now, but you would have been one cool cat in 97 having heated seats. The radio head unit is still stock, which is amazing considering some high school kids owned it. One of the first things that people do is change that, at least back in the early 2000s. Underneath this little wood cover, is a tape deck, which is pretty ancient stuff for anybody under the age of 30. Let's check out the rest of the car. Oh, before we move on, another cool thing. It's got a coin organizer right here. Kind of hard to see, but that's pretty nifty. So for you youngsters out there, coins were something they used to give you change when things weren't even dollars. If something costs like $5.75, you could give the cashier $6 and they would give you back a coin, a quarter in that case. And then you could take that quarter and put it in your little coin organizer, which is pretty handy. Back seat, this seat thing still works. I mean, think about this, guys. Look at the shape that this is in, considering high schoolers own this. I figured there'd be stains and unmentionables everywhere, but it just isn't. It's in great shape. Now, let's move around to the trunk. I know we already grazed the outside of the trunk, but the inside is where the true treasures lie. Look at that, the electronic popping mechanism still works and the light works, which is great. All right, I had to set the camera up so I could use both hands here. As you can see, the trunk, good shape, light works, and we even have the tool set, which kind of goes with my normal theory of most BMWs are missing their tool sets. This one has it, but of course you can see some tools are indeed missing. And since I'm going through here modding the car, I did want to show you an absolutely mandatory BMW mod and just how easy it is. See, underneath these covers, or, well, in this case, a CD changer. But underneath that, just a little fiddling, out comes our bulbs. And you know what this top one is? The turn signal bulb. Don't need this anymore. Call that my M Sport bulb. Saving weight and not necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side as well. Okay, turn signal bulbs out. We are good to go. We are almost there to official BMW ownership now. Moving on in here, you can see we actually have a CD changer, which is pretty fancy. At first, when I got this, I saw the tape deck and I was like, oh man, it only has a tape deck. How am I gonna play all these CDs that I have? But it actually has a CD changer and I believe the previous owner left us some bonuses in here. So here's your BMW CD changer. Let's see what we got in here. We have Newsboys, live in concert. Next up, we got Panic at the Disco, a fantastic CD. Let's see here, another Panic at the Disco. I'm guessing this was the high school girl that owned this one. Black Veil Brides, a fantastic band. My wife is gonna be very excited about that one. And let's see what the last one is. 21 Pilots. So some younger girl owned this fairly recently. Well, now before we get too carried away, it is now an M Sport CD changer. So that is a classic BMW modification right there. Put that back and we are all buttoned up back here. Switching back to handheld mode here because there's a couple of things I just have to show you. One thing is this awesome diagram that shows you how to get three stowed golf bags into the trunk of this thing. You can take you and two buddies golfing in the BMW M528i. But beyond that sticker, something that I can't exactly show you but I can explain to you is the smell when you open up this trunk. When you open this thing up, you are just blasted in the face with what smells like the worst gym sock you can imagine. And I felt around right here 
and we got a little dampness. And full disclosure, when I opened this up the very first time, there was standing water down there. It was absolutely disgusting. So what I'm guessing is that the trunk gasket thing that prevents water from leaking down in here did leak and it just let water pool up in there for a few days. I think Tyler washed this before he gave it to us and it just had the water sitting in there all dark and humid, the perfect thriving ground for grossness. One good thing, it was holding the water, which means it's not rusted out. But one bad thing is now it smells absolutely terrible in here. I mean, like, blah. Well, I really wish we had smell-o-vision so you could experience this with me, but believe me, you'd be glad you can't smell it. Anyway, I've been trying to figure out what to do about it. I've left the trunk open for a couple of days and it still hasn't gone away. In fact, the carpet's still kind of damp, even with it being open and having some air flowing through it. So I looked up on the internet how to get rid of gross trunk smell and they said to put some baking soda back there. Problem is, I don't have any. So I figured we will take this BMW out on its maiden voyage to go get some baking soda and hopefully solve this gym sock trunk smell once and for all. But for now, it is M for musty. All right, so now you've seen the inside and outside of the BMW M528i, but let's get it out, go to the store and get some baking soda to hopefully solve some of that gross trunk dampness gym sock smell issue. It's a great excuse to drive this thing and to show off our new M badges. Let's hit the street. Perfect snowy weather, just the kind of environment to test out a high mileage, mechanically unproven BMW. Excellent, I hope these wipers work. Out on the road in probably the cheapest BMW 528i, it's free, so that really counts it as the cheapest running and driving manual 528i, at least in the Midwest area. But for YouTube's sake, I'll say the USA. And this thing drives excellently. As you can tell from my Hoovy review, it really drives great. If you put a piece of tape over the odometer, I would never know that it has 250,000 miles. I would seriously guess more like 45 or 50,000, maybe, maybe a little more because you can feel a little looseness in the suspension. But if this is what the suspension feels like all the way loose, wow, this thing must be built really, really well. The roads haven't gotten quite slick yet, but I know it's cold, so this thing's doing really well. Clutch is like perfectly weighted. I don't know if it's just perfectly broken in or if it's just I'm used to a totally gone clutch, but it's just excellent. The seat's broken, but I have been fortunate enough that it's broken in a way that I can still reach the pedals, which is fantastic. I almost used my turn signal right there. That's silly. I don't need those. I'm a BMW owner now. As far as road feel goes, I would describe it as superior. Not in driving, but in the way I feel. I feel superior because, well, I own a BMW now and I think that comes with the territory. Let's see if we can get her a little loose. Oh, traction control. I believe 97 was actually the first year for traction control in these cars at least. And it seems to work. The wipers work okay. Some wipe better than others, just like people. I don't need to use my turn signal. I can speed. I heard an engine chime. Oh, it's just telling me that it's 37 degrees out. Why did it have to make a check engine sound just to tell me that it's cold out? I know it's snowing for God's sake. German cars don't make engine bong sounds just to tell me it's cold out, especially in a car that could very feasibly give me an engine bong in just a mile trip. Whew, just gave me a minor heart attack. There's somebody coming, but nope, I'm a BMW driver. I go first. All right, we are at the store now. My best bet is to park as far away as possible because this thing seems to be a bit of a magnet for shopping carts. Let me back in. That's a BMW owner thing to do. Oh yeah. I own a BMW and I need to get out first, which is why I backed in. All right, we are at the store now. And as you can see, I'm far enough away that shopping carts should not be an issue. That is how a BMW owner does it. Okay, so I found the baking soda, but I have no idea of knowing which one is the correct one I should get. So let's look here. This one has cookies on it. This one's just plain. And this one, up. Oh, this must be the stuff. That's got my symbol on it. All right, so this should be exactly what we need for the BMW. It says so right here. Boy, I hope the BMW is okay out there. All right, pretty straightforward trip to the store. I think they charged me a little bit more because that one had the BMW symbol on it, but oh well. Let's go see how the BMW fared being in the parking lot for the first time since I've owned it at least. Oh, are you serious? 
I knew shopping carts were attracted to this thing, but this is insane. How many people were over here? I mean, the carousel return is right there. Ugh. Oh boy. All right, well, apparently this thing is an even bigger shopping cart magnet than I imagined. Hey, start it back up. Let's get this thing back and get it de-skunked. All right, I'm not entirely sure what the rules are back here, but it's pretty stinky, so I guess we'll just kind of... Oh, it's chunky. Oh, yeah. Like, get it in there. Oh, yeah. It's smelling better already. Looks like a Colombian drug lord's car now. Yes, look at that. That should help my smell. Well, you know, hopefully. And uh, while we're at it, I guess we'll just kind of... That, that should do it. All right. Well, I guess now we'll just let that sit overnight and consider the car deodorized. Thanks, Arm & Hammer M brand, the sportiest odor eliminator in the business. So there you have it, guys. That is my Secret Santa gift, the BMW 528i M Sport that I got for $0, courtesy of Hoovy's Garage. As you can see, it needs some cosmetic love, but it drives fantastically, even in inclement weather. It looks great in this Oxford green color, if you ignore the clear coat fading. And it's an M Sport now. What more can you ask for for the low, low price of free 99? Now that the trunk's de-stinkified, it's even better. But the question is now, what do I do with it? And that's where I need your help. The way I see it, we can go two different ways with this car. We can either kind of fix up the minor cosmetic stuff, get the mechanics correct, and just drive it and enjoy it. But, you know, that's not really fun. Who wants to see a guy drive and enjoy a high mileage BMW? The other option is to go crazy with it. Cut the fenders, give it a lift, big knobby tires, some big spotlights on the front of it, and make this thing a Gambler 500 car. Now that is an idea. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should I kind of just do a ho-hum restoration on it, or should I go insane? Cut fenders, knobby tires, big lights, the whole Gambler treatment. I want to hear what you have to say, so let me know below. But other than that, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm still trying to get that going. You'll get to see behind-the-scenes setup of videos like this and other goings-on in my life. Follow me on Facebook if you haven't already. Join my Facebook group, by the way. It's a fun way to interact with me. It's called like Elliot Alvis Prius Posting. It's I'll have it in the description below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you on the next video. Still kind of stinky. Bonus, I found a huge bag of it. So get a good wind up here. Be gone, odor. Get out of there. Must be gone. Ooh, I feel like the salt guy. And sidearm. Really distributing this. Oh, look at this. Here's a big wad of it. Slam dunk. It's snowing outside and in the car. This is great. I think I'm getting really good coverage at this point. Talk about a video I wish was sponsored by Arm & Hammer. Another classic BMW move I can do is we're at a stoplight here. I can pull up next to this guy and what I can do is accelerate really fast and get in front of him. It's just something that BMW guys love and that I'll learn to love. He's ready for me. He's all right. Accelerate. Get in front of him. No signal. Heck yeah. Okay. I see it. I see that's why BMW guys like to do that. I felt good. I felt superior. I feel like a real BMW man. I love it. And apparently I've got a little mold. Oh. Oh. That was a snow plow that just drove by and slung every rock on the street right into the front of this thing. I'm cringing as if the paint isn't already messed up, but oh, that was awful. <laughs>